so it'll be a little bit interesting to see what happens here. To see if they trigger each other and to see how much damage they do, etc, etc. So let's do this. Oh my god, it totally worked. Yes. There's no way I'm fixing that. How's it going everybody? Crash here and welcome back to Sea of These. Today we're going to do some little gunpowder experiments. Fun. If you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the like button and all that other jazz that YouTubers say. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. Let's do this. Anyways, so first thing you do, or I did, was sail to the forts. Or sail to one of the forts because they have all these gunpowder barrels over there. It's kind of like a little trick. If you guys don't know and you're like, oh, I wish we had a gunpowder barrel for our for a ship, well, you can go to the little ports and they have them everywhere, which is very, very cool. So I'm gonna grab a few of these, actually. You know what? We can just do this here. I don't see why not. And we're gonna, we're gonna figure out, we're gonna play around with these gunpowder barrels and figure out some new stuff. I'm gonna see how powerful these things are. So the first thing I wanna do is see how far away from it. I can be without dying. <laughs> How many paces? So I'm gonna go ten paces and see uh, see if that'll do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, ten paces. Let's see if it kills me. Nope, no damage at all. So eight. Okay. Hello. Alright, eight paces. Ooh. <laughs> so eight paces does some damage to you. Very little, but it does some damage. That's interesting. If I'm full health, and I go five paces. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Alright, let's go one more pace. Let's go six. Six paces. Ooh, half health. That's six paces. Four paces. One, two, three, four. Um. There you go. <laughs> so, so uh, four paces of death, five paces is the minimum. That's interesting. Okay, there you guys have it. So four paces is the minimum, or is the... Maximum distance you can be and still die. Alright guys, now we're going to see how much damage a gunpowder barrel does to your ship. I'm close up. Okay, hit your shots. Oh my god. Alright, let's go check it out. So one, two, two holes, that's it. I'm gonna put two holes from point blank. Oh no, three, four, there we go. So after some extensive research, it seems that every time you blow up a explosive barrel, it does four damage, four holes of damage to your ship from the outside. Whether it was the minimum distance or whether it was right next to it, it was doing four, four holes of damage. 
All right, let's, let's see what happens if I put one on the ship. If it's more damage because it's like catching both sides or if it's less. You guys ready for this? All right, we're on the boat. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you bring on some of the boat and you put this sucker down in the middle. And you go back. Holy shit. Oh my god, okay. How many holes? One, two, three, four. It did four again. No way. So it doesn't seem to matter if it's inside, outside. Oh, I'm gonna sink. I'm gonna straight up sink right now. much damage so fast like people just would be caught off guard now you guys you know what you know what time it is right you know what time it is now double barrels <laughs> let's do it we totally have to do it two barrels in one ship let's see if it does eight holes or if it does four holes What the heck? Are you kidding me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, I'm just out here doing this, uh, this gunpowder thing, and I walked up in this fort, and there's a stronghold skull. What the fuck? Why would, why, why, why would you? Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta take this and go. Somebody hit it and just forgot about it? How how do you even do that? How do you even begin to do that? Can someone please explain this to me? Alright guys, I'm not kidding. I didn't do a skeleton port. I didn't like <laughs> I was there screwing around with the gunfire barrels. Oh this was just up in the tower. What the heck is happening right now? We'll sell it. Let's see what we get. 3,495. Didn't even have to do a skull for it. Someone just left it there. I think they were wondering like how long it would stay or something. So interesting. That's fine with me. We're gonna like a whole reputation level for it. But whatever, back to what we were doing. Alright guys, I think another missed conception is that uh, you have to take these gunpowder gun powder barrels down to the bottom before you blow them up for them to do damage. That is not true. Also, people seem to think that if your gunpowder barrel is out on the tip of your boat, that it won't do damage. Also not true. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to see is if you have two gunpowder barrels, if they uh, will do more damage than just a single gunpowder barrel. And these two should trigger each other. So it'll be a little bit interesting to see what happens here. <laughs> to see if they trigger each other and to see how much damage they do, etc, etc. So let's do this. Yes. There's no way I'm fixing that. And there you go, we have eight holes. So, uh, the more you know, right guys? And I don't think it's even physically possible to repair this in time. No, it's not. Just like that, your boat is sunk. Like, two seconds. So if you and a buddy have a couple gunpowder barrels and you go to a sloop, my sloop. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you put them. It doesn't matter. Unless it's in, the, I haven't tested it in the crow's nest yet, but it pretty much doesn't matter where you put them. You're gonna sink that ship in a matter of seconds. Like that was insane. Oh my gosh. Also, we found out that chain reactions work on this game. All right, guys, time to recap. So we found out that 
10 paces is safe. Uh, 4 paces you're dead. 5 and anything in between you're damaged. So, and then we found out that one gunpowder bag, carol, barrel, keg, whatever you want to call it, does 4 holes of damage, 2 does 8 holes of damage, and so on and so forth. And then we also found out that you can put them on the deck, or you can put them down below, or you can put them out on the little tip of the boat, and they all do the same amount of damage. Now we gotta figure out, does it do damage if it's in the crow's nest? Highly doubt that the damage would be interesting if it did, but I highly doubt it. Because, yep. Unfortunately, I figured this out the hard way because I shot somebody. Believe it or not, I was chasing someone and I sniped their gunpowder keg out of their crow's nest while chasing them in the ship. So it was pretty epic. I'll share that clip right here. Oh, shit. oh I hit it! Oh, dude! Dude, look at it! You hit that shit, good shit. <laughs> Fucking out of the And, uh, anyways, that was pretty cool. I was <laughs> pretty stoked about that, if you couldn't tell. Um, and it would have been cool if it did damage to the boat, but I guess it makes sense. You're gonna have somewhere to put the gunpowder kegs on your ship that is safe. And so, that is the one place that you can put them that's safe, and it won't do any damage. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, I was trying to do my outro, and this guy, all of a sudden I hear, hear uh, swimming, so I'm like, what is happening right now? So I look down, and there's this guy there, with a sh <laughs> getting on my ship. Dude, sorry, I don't have anything for you. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have it in game chat at the moment, so I, I, wasn't, I wasn't talking to him. But anyways, if you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and everything else. Oh my gosh, what a great way to end the video. Um, I hope you guys liked all the information in the video. I thought it was pretty cool, it was super fun to figure out all that stuff, and uh, I will definitely be using it for future videos to do some like mini games and to do some, you know, attacking some galleons like that, and etc, etc. So if you guys liked it, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.